What's up, math fans? There's a lot of formulas you have to know when you're dealing with circles. Um, so far, I have covered this shape and this shape, and now we're gonna do this shape, all right? So you gotta know what you're looking at before you can even determine the formula. If you're looking at a tangent and a secant, there's a different formula. That's tan squared equals external times entire. If you're looking at two secants, that's external times entire equals the other external times the other entire. And now, if you're looking at two chords, there's another formula. I'm going to address it in one second. I also want you to understand that for this video, um, we're talking about lengths, okay? Uh, because there are other videos that I've made with the same exact shape, except you're talking about angle measure and arc measure. So that's talking about degrees. Here, we're talking about length. Length is not in degrees. Length could be inches, feet, or whatever. Here, I'm not going to specify. We're just going to go straight numbers. All right? So, I'm looking at a circle. I'm looking at lengths of intersecting chords. Here's a chord AB. Here's a chord CD. They intersect at E. And the formula is AE times EB equals CE times ED. That's it. If you look carefully, I'll highlight it. AE from here to here is this part of the chord times EB is the other part of the same chord. So I just call it part times part equals the other chord, CE from here to here times ED. So that's the other part times the other part of the other chord. Part times part equals part times part. All right, a lot of people say, oh, doesn't that just mean that the chords themselves are equal? No, the chords could be different lengths it's the product of the parts that's the same, not the total, not the sum, the product, all right? So let's do it. Uh, AE is eight times EB is X equals uh, CE is four and ED is six. So if I'm trying to solve for X and these two questions I'm gonna solve for X, uh, that should be straightforward algebra. Hopefully you're good at this. 8x equals 24. I'm going to divide by 8 on both sides. And x equals uh, 3. Okay? That's it. Pretty straightforward. Part times part equals part times part. Um, let me try a little more difficult one. Um, but it's really the same exact thing. So why don't you pause it, try it on your own, and then see if your answer matches mine. So here we go. You can, you can get your colored pens or not, it's up to you. So here I got 12 times 4x plus 1 equals, and I'll go the other way here, uh, 14 times 3 plus 3x. So same exact formula. I didn't put letters on purpose. The letters don't matter. It could be any letters. It could be A, B, C, D, E. It could be M, N, O, P, Q, whatever. The letters don't matter, so I'm not putting letters. It's part times part equals part times part. So here we go. I'm going to distribute this time. 12 times 4 is uh, 48 plus 12 equals 14 times 3 is, uh, if only I had a calculator, uh, this is 12 and this is 342 plus 42x. All right, now I forgot the x somewhere. This is 48x, is that right? 48x. So you want to combine like terms, right? Not exactly. My like terms are on not the same side of the equal sign. I got to bring them to the same side. So I'm actually going to subtract the inverse here and bring that 42x over there. And to save space, I'm going to subtract 12 and bring it over here. 12 cancels. 42 minus 12 is uh, 30. Equal sign drops down. 42x cancels. 48x minus 42x is 6x equals 30, and smooth sailing from there. So once you identify which diagram you're looking at, then you identify which formula you need to use, and you're good to go. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.